Hey what's up guys, I am Sam, today we'll be creating this effect. Alright so a lot of people asked me to create this effect and here we are. Now first of all I tried to make the fire in After Effects itself but that didn't look quite good and it didn't look real. You know, I tried not to use any third party plugin and this is the effect that I got but I wasn't satisfied with it. So I ended up using some stock footage which you can download from the description below. So let's just get started. I'll just take our footage and drop it onto this icon to create a new composition. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is track our eye so that we can have that eye glowing effect. So just right click on the footage and track motion and uh, make sure you also track the rotation and then we can just select the points and uh, just like that and we can then hit analyze forward alright now we can just create a new null object and we can name it as tracker and then we can edit the target and make sure the tracker is selected and hit OK. And then we can hit apply and make sure it's X and Y and then hit OK. So now you can see that the null object sticks to our eye. So now we can go ahead and create a new solid and make sure it's a white solid and hit OK. And then we'll just shut the eye switch off and take the pen tool and then zoom in a bit and uh, just create a mask around the eye and also for the left eye turn on the eye switch and uh, hit F and set the feather to maybe 1 so that we don't have any sharp edges and then we can just set the parent of this layer to tracker and we can see that we have this effect and we also need to fade this in so so just select the layer and hit T for opacity and set a keyframe and maybe just move it a bit forward and then set it to zero so that it fades in like that maybe just shift it a bit back Alright, so now that we have the eye glowing effect, we can add the fire on our head and on our hands. So we'll just import the footage in here. So as you can see, we have a black background. So in order to remove that, we'll just use a third party plugin, which is free from Vita Copilot. And that is color vibrance. So we'll just set the vibrance to zero so that it doesn't affect the color. All we need to do is just mat the alpha. So we'll just set it on. And we can see that the back background has been removed and make sure to set the alpha boost to 1 and now we can just scale it down and match it with our head maybe just scale it up a bit like that hit S for scale maybe 55 And that looks good. And so what we can do now is just set the transform mode of the head layer to screen. And now we can see things more clearly. So we can just shift the layer a bit up. Then create a mask so that we can see our face. So just like that. And uh, hit M and set the mask to subtract and also hit F and increase the feathering so that it blends with our face alright what I think is that the color of the fire is not looking good so what I can do is go to effect color correction and tint and place it before the vibrance and then I can use the color vibrance to change the color so I'll just choose a bit orange color and then uh, set the vibrance to 1 
you can see that this looks better than what we had previously and we can also play with the values so I'll just decrease the preserve luminance and increase the brightness just a bit also make sure that you parent all these things to the tracker so that it stays intact and also make sure that the action matches with the fire so and we can also fade this in so just hit D set a keyframe move a few frames back set it to zero and just shift the keyframes We shift it back like that. And now we can add the hands. So just bring in the left hand. And uh, there we have it. And basically, we just have to repeat the process. So we'll just set it to screen and then scale it down. And we can just copy the effect from the head, edit, copy, and edit, paste. And for the hand layer, we have to animate it just a bit. So we'll just select the layer, hit P, and key from the position, and try to just match it with our hand. Like that. also hit shift R for rotation we can also play with the rotation so we'll just rotate it and try to align it with our hand and also hit shift T for opacity and then fade it in Right, so I'm done tracking with the hand and now let's just import the right hand and repeat it all over so just right so I'm done with the right hand and uh, you can see this harsh edge and no need to worry about that you can just make a mask around the corner like that and uh, hit M and then subtract it and hit F and then feather it like that so that will remove the harsh edge maybe just increase the feathering a bit more and there we go and also make sure to parent this to the tracker so right so let's just see what we have here now Alright, that looks okay and uh, what else we can do is create a new solid and just change the color to a bit orange and hit okay and then select the ellipse tool and double click on it so that we have an ellipse and then hit F and feather it a lot and also set the transfer mode to screen and uh, decrease the opacity to around 75 maybe also I'll just decrease the scale of the mask a bit and then we'll just animate the opacity so just hit the stopwatch move a few frames back set it to zero and just try to time it right maybe just hit F9 so that it eases in and eases out and then uh, move a few frames forward and set the opacity to maybe 10 maybe 15 and one more thing that I did in the original example was to duplicate this solid and uh, instead of having it as a solid we'll just make it an adjustment layer so we'll just click here and it becomes an adjustment layer now and I can go to effect stylize and glow and we'll just play with the settings so I'll just increase the radius like that and decrease the intensity like that 
Also try to align the head with the hand layers so they all pop out at the same time. And let's just see what we have here now. Alright, not bad. What else we can do is use these textures that are also there in the file that is there in the description. And uh, we can just take them, drop it here, maybe set the mode to screen like that and also just hit T and decrease the opacity. Also scale them down like that. I'll just create a few masks and feather them like that. Okay. And we'll just fade them in. So just hit T and uh, set a keyframe and zero and then move a few frames ahead and set it to maybe 20. Alright, so that's the basic effect. Although we can add some color correction, so I'll just maybe take the color correction layers and just paste it in here. And after some color correction, you can end up having an effect looking like this. Alright, that's it. I hope you all like this tutorial. Of course, you can do some experiments with this effect and also add some particles and sparks that will just look cool. This is just the basic effect and uh, as I always say just play with the values and the effects to get the look that you want. And yeah I think that's it. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Bam.